welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Derek and today we will be analyzing component interferences found within the assembly. Interference detection analyzes the geometry and identifies overlapping components. Within a basic assembly, it is usually easy to see interferences, but sometimes it can be difficult to determine, so having a tool that can do this job is greatly beneficial. Interference detection is found within the Evaluate tab, and we will have the option to calculate interferences within the entire assembly, or specify specific components. I will calculate the entire assembly. We can see that SOLIDWORKS found three interferences. The interference detection makes both components interfering transparent and highlights the overlapping volume to make it easy to see. Since I made this assembly, I know that there is a distance mate between the two interfering components that we need to address. Even if I did not know this, using the View Mates tool can be a quick way to list all the mates associated with that component. At this point, I will flip the dimension around and quickly check the interferences again. As you can see, there are no longer any interferences. This universal joint will be able to rotate once it has been manufactured, so we should check to make sure components do not collide during movement. The interference detection was great for static interferences, but when it comes to dynamic collisions, we need to use a different tool. The Move Component command contains a collision detection feature. We will check collisions between all components and make sure that stop at collision is turned on so that when, when, when we move this, we know that there's an issue when it stops. As you can see, there's an issue between two components and when they collide, the faces of each highlight. This shows us where the issue lies. As you can imagine, this is a very powerful tool when you have an assembly that requires a range of motion. Between interference detection and collision detection, it should cover all the component interferences that you might run into when creating an assembly. Thank you for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. See you next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.